Hello, I'm Dr. Carl Nash. This next sequence or lecture that we're going to present is designed for the dentist and the staff so that the office understands why dental implants have, have become a primary treatment option to replace a single tooth. This particular topic I'm going to emphasize, at least initially, heavily on the replacement of a single tooth and the, the methods that we've used in the past and look for why we do certain things rather than automatically doing the same thing over and over again. If I look at missing teeth in the United States, below the poverty level, the average number of teeth missing is 4.15. Above the poverty level, it's 2.96. And so it's not that much difference between income of below and above poverty levels for number of missing teeth. And yet the number of teeth that are remaining in a patient's life is certainly different now than it was when I first entered dentistry back in the early 70s. In 1960, the average American over the age of 65 had just seven of their original teeth remaining. Today, the average 65-year-old has, has 18 remaining teeth. The baby boomers to expect to have at least 24 teeth left by the time they reach 65. And so, in general, people are maintaining their teeth longer. What's different today than it was when I first entered the field was that the first tooth loss today is between the ages of 35 and 54. It's not the first molar of some 12-year-old child because the parents thought it was a deciduous tooth and waiting for the tooth to come out. The biggest segment of the population are the, big, are the baby boomers. And the baby boomers now are the segment of the population that's starting to lose their first tooth. 